All right, what's up YouTube? It is about 12 p.m. now and I am tired. <laughs> to be honest, I get, off, I get off work in about two and a half hours, so I'm gonna go ahead, knock out, no, I'm taking a nap during my lunch break so I can crush it when I get back. Right now, what I'm doing at work is that I'm integrating with Google uh, Google e-commerce analytics um, to a donation page and it has to do with PHP and it's actually kind of fun because I've never done it before so it's really new and it's a challenge and I like it so I want to get that done by today if possible if not by next week and I'm probably going to try to work on it in the weekend if I have the time if not I'll do it next week when I get back to work it's pretty cool I like it it's a challenge it's a real big challenge for me because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> all right, I'll take a nap. I'll see you guys after work. Finishing a large diet coke. Yep, that's all. It's getting 15:22 at the window. All right, thank you. All right, YouTube. What is up, everyone? Uh, I know that I haven't been able to vlog at all since yesterday, to be honest. Um, I've been really busy today, so I had no time to vlog at all even today. And so, as of right now, so it's currently 7:30 p.m. Um, and so I just got home. I was doing a little bit of Bible studies today uh, with a friend, just got back and pretty much because I didn't really vlog at all Friday, I didn't vlog at all today, Saturday, uh, there's not really much for me to talk about, it's been so busy, so I figured that I'm going to go ahead and do a YouTube live right now, and to be honest, I don't even know what to talk on a YouTube live, so I figured that today, live q and I'll probably have some topics. By the way, actually there's something I want to share with you guys, so as you probably know, if you are following me on Instagram, but if you haven't added me on Instagram, make sure you do it now. Instagram down below, I'll put the link in the description below too. I pretty much gave a discount to everyone who messaged me yesterday for those who wanted to go ahead and get a discount on my Des Life shirts that are coming out really soon. I've been working on it for a while. You know, I've been working with people who design the logo. It's pretty legit. Check out the logo right here. That's the logo that I'll be on the shirt without a border, of course. So I've been working with the clothing company that's actually making my shirts. And so right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off with the basic shirts with the simple Des Life logo on here. I'm really excited to ship it out. I'm gonna get it sometime next week. I can't for wait, wait for it to come in. Uh, I look for good quality fabric, not just anyone. I found a manufacturer here in my area. Um, I've been speaking with them for like a week and a half. They just sent me the mock-ups, and I wanna show you guys that right now. So let me go ahead and find that for you. Okay, so I just show, uh, uploaded it right now. Let me... All right, so let's go check this out. Okay, so here's the black Desli shirt. Pretty clean. Um, I like it a lot. It's just a very simple logo right there. Um, Des Life right there, my logo on there. I can't wait. Actually, I really want this black one. Um, now, I have three colors. I have the, the navy blue, which is pretty legit. White one, which is always going to have. And I have the black one. And pretty much, like, these are the shirts that I ordered. So when these orders do come out, uh, starting next week, within the first week, those who do order will get free shipping. No charge at all. Now, for the people who followed me on Instagram, Okay, for the people who follow me on Instagram, when I shared my story on Instagram, will now get a 10% discount plus the free shipping when this is go live. And so, you gotta follow me, man. I do these discounts on my Twitter and Instagram. So if you haven't yet, make sure to check me out. I'm excited, guys. Everything's been really doing really good. Ah, oh, man, it's been good. Uh, but what I do want to talk about on this vlog is I want to talk about my experience right now. I'm um, learning back in the struggles I'm going with too. And, and with the struggles I'm going through right now. So I'll talk about that in a little bit after I do this live video. See you guys in a bit. All right, what's up, you two? <laughs> you know something that people always tell me? They always say, Chris, why do you eat out so much? So I'm like, guys, I don't eat out that much. Like, why do people think I eat out so much? I don't know why. All right, YouTube, I lied. Okay, I'm getting food. I'm eating at a restaurant. It's actually a really nice restaurant called BCD Tofu House. I give my life, I give it all for a look, for the call, for a kiss, for a roll, a part of an universe, of any planet and sky. All right, YouTube, so what I got here was, is a bulgogi with rice. One of my favorite Korean food I ever get, but anyway, you guys don't really care about food, so I'll see you guys outside. All right, so I just left the, I just left BCD Tofu House. Now, I'm heading, we're going to another place called um, Honey Me, and I heard it's pretty good. I've never really tried it, so I want you guys to check it out. But before we go there, I figured I'd show you some drone footage. <laughs> Say 
Alright YouTube, so I'm here at work right now. Um, all my coworkers are trying to look at the solar eclipse that's happening right now, so I'm gonna see if I can see it through my camera, because I don't have my sunglasses. You're like, excuse me sir, can I use your contraption? It looks like lipstick. It does it look, look like the sun. Well, it looks different though, I mean, I'm, it's not too bright. Oh, it's in front of it. Is it? Oh shoot! See you can see it. You see that? Oh, look, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. it's literally right in front of it. I just at it. <laughs> oh no! Look at here! Look at here! Yeah. Wait, where? You can see it. You see right? You see the black? The black shadow in front of it? Oh no! You can't see it here. Look at my lens. Oh yeah, yeah. You can lens. see it off the um the, gl that's, the glare. That's content. Right oh there. shoot! Yeah. You can see it right there. That's content. Yeah. That's you can see it on the glare. That's some clickbait. Yeah. Clickbait. Oh, you, you can see it on my <laughs> Oh, shoot. How did I, how, how did I do that? Oh, right there. Wow. Oh, all right, what's up, YouTube? Um, it is pretty much the end of the day. Uh, this video is gonna probably be shorter than the usual videos because I really didn't have many much time to really um, like vlog as much as I can. The next couple weeks until mid-September will be busy really busy for me before I head out of the country so um, but yeah so anyway um, uh, what I do want to talk about is really how has backend or learning backend been for me I am a beginner of beginners as a backend developer you know just because you know a little bit of PHP doesn't mean you know what you're doing because you know PHP is a tool and that's something that I'm really learning a lot right now is that like in JavaScript is a tool and what makes me so good at JavaScript is that I know the system when it comes to front-end development. I know where all the folders are, where I need to pull images from, where I need to pull, you know, a CSS style sheet from, um, JavaScript files from, and etc. But as a back-end developer, <laughs> uh, when I'm working within the system at my work, I feel like I'm lost. I feel like I'm in a maze because, yes, you know, JavaScript and PHP are very similar, but it's not just about knowing the languages. Uh, the most important part that comes second to just knowing the language is knowing how to work with the system, knowing the code base. You know, for example, let's say we're using GitHub and like just learning how to upload, push your, your code to GitHub to get approved. You know, have you know push your code for there um, to ship it live, um, or your test environment and within the test environment that you've made within the system of your work, where you can test everything. You know where is the classes folder, where you know are the, is the routes folder, where where all these folders where you can pull things and make changes, and you know why is it that you need to do one small thing for this other one thing to work? And right now that's that's what I'm currently stuck in right now is how do I get things going <laughs> you know what I mean and so as of right now what I'm doing is that I am integrating with the Google e-commerce plugin that's a JavaScript plugin analytics.js and I'm integrating with that into our system where whenever a client makes a purchase or etc it pushes that analyst that that amount and etc the transaction ID and everything to Google and the, what's so good about using that with Google is that Google will tell you you know what country that person purchased it from what city or what state um, you know what time and it's very very detailed and so that's what I'm learning right now and it's very humbling because to be honest you know front end is fun and I'm good at it but it's all it's hard but back end's really hard <laughs> um, it's more than just knowing JavaScript CSS and HTML or jQuery it's knowing PHP it's knowing my SQL, knowing the command line, knowing the code base, and what works and what doesn't work. Does that make sense? And so, how has backend development been for me? It's been a very humbling experience, and it has shown me coding is something you never stop learning. It's something that you continue to learn. You, it's something you have to continue to improve in, and you can never stop. And the moment you stop trying to grow, you become less valuable to the company or to any company that you work for. And that's why programming isn't just something you do for a couple months and then you just get become a developer. No, learning code is a lifetime process. It's something where you continue to get better and better and better and better. And, and that's what I'm learning right now. <laughs> so, it's fun. I mean, I love it. I love what I do. Um, I can't wait to do more. And it, it just coding is something I, I, w I wouldn't mind doing for the rest of my life. Uh, and I hope that's the same for other people. And you know what? For those who are learning back in development, you know, if you ever have integrated with Google 
e-commerce um, let me know give me advice give me tips drop down put in the comment below what to do what do you do to help you get better at learning back in development because I need that help too um, what advice do you give um, you know anything anything on there what resources do you use my resources are my the other junior developers the other back-end developers and my senior developer at my company that's what I use to get better <laughs> so probably the best resources too so that's pretty much it. I don't know what else I'm going to talk about. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys at work tomorrow. Peace. It is about 4 p.m. I just got off work. Um, during my lunch break today, um, I went to Whole Foods with Tony, as usual. I got a call from my aunt. And she told me that, you know, something happened to my dad in San Francisco. And so he's in the emergency room, and um, it was kind of serious. She recommended that I go straight there as soon as possible. So, <laughs> 4 p.m. LA traffic. I need to drive all the way to my house right now, and then drive all the way to San Francisco. That's about 10 hours of driving. I don't know why these things keep happening in my life, but you gotta keep pushing forward, you know? <sighs> Let's go to San Francisco.